When our good buddy, Melville Dewey, set out to create the Dewey Decimal System, he chose his main classes by imagining himself as a caveman. To come up with the 000 class, he asked himself, What do I need to know before I begin? The first subsection of the 000 class has been used to add many things that Dewey didn't even know about when he was creating the Dewey Decimal System. The first part of this subsection now includes things like computers, the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, UFOs, and aliens. While the 020 subsection of the class may have once included other things, it is now used to include information about the internet. This is another invention that wasn't around when Dewey was creating the Dewey Decimal System. Encyclopedias Reference materials and other books of facts were around when Dewey was creating the system. Melville Dewey decided that he would put them in the 030 subsection. This may make you wonder why ours are not located within the rest of the nonfiction where they should be. Many libraries put them in a separate area to make them easier to find. In bigger library, libraries, they may be located close to an area where patrons can do research. Information from museums and information about museums are included in the 060 subclass. Dewey included them here because he felt that museums were an important place that people needed to visit so that they could learn what they needed to know. Much like museums, Dewey felt it was important that people learn about the world around them. One place where they used to do this was from newspapers. Granted, they are becoming things of the past now, but people still do use newspapers to find out what they need to know. Again, you'll probably find newspapers separate from nonfiction in most libraries. Usually, the newspapers are included in a section where you can be comfortable and just read them.